Good afternoon, good evening. <clears throat> uh, today's, this evening's rough look is brought to you by, I haven't been camping this weekend, um, I have cleaned myself since I've been home this time. Um, but yes, thought, actually I just need to freaking get on with this because it's been over a week since, just shut my door, um, over a week since I think I've provided any update and just in case anybody's wondering if I'm still alive, oh, <laughs> doing some head chopping even with the new horizontal holding. Yeah, I'm still alive, I'm here. So, but wanted to update it. Last week actually was stress through the roof, moving stress. Uh, so the tiny flat that we were buying, I've now pulled out of. I can't remember how much I've updated you on. I don't think you know about this, but oh, moving house for episode. Um, he stated and it said to me, well, you know, it's a stressful time. And I thought, no, it's not the moving so much, although that has caused me stress, but it's like the, cul I'm, I, I love moving, but it's the culmination of, it's not like when I could just move and it was just me, I've got the girls to think about and also I'm getting divorced and I'm still living with the person that I'm divorced, you know, that I'm getting divorced from and sometimes that's quite irritating. Yeah, so sometimes that, you know, that's an added chunk of unneeded stress. So, yeah, basically there was, I don't know what was going on with that flat. You know, I was, I was being, I was literally told contradictory things. You probably all know what it's like. I was literally being told one thing by the stage and a different thing by the solicitor. I'd go back to one and saying, who gave you that information? Oh, this solicitor did. Go back to the solicitor. Oh, um, just ignore me. And I was starting to think, do I need to look for a different place? Because if this isn't going through, I don't want to lose our buyers. And I need to make sure there's somewhere for us to go. So I ended up uh, going to view with Connie a different flat and found... And this flat wasn't on my radar before because the price was higher. And in the time since, you know, in the last four months, three, four months, the price has dropped twice because obviously house prices are dropping twice, two drops. And so it wasn't on my radar. It was three bed. It was a little bit out of Caversham and which is not what I wanted. However, it was a stunner of a flat in a, gorgeous Edwardian building really highly uh sort of renovated the guy I've been there 16 years and there was a cellar you had space in the cellar as well we had like a lockable door like brick thing down in the cellar and other people had space too went down in the cellar and it was like the old scullery so the building was beautiful uh anyway I put in an offer, got rejected. They actually went with somebody else had already offered and I think the same amount. And they said, oh, they're train free. So they went with them. And I was like, our buyers are literally chasing us every day to move in. But no. So, so then I had a bit of a panic because I pulled out of the tiny flat. And I was like, oh, we now have nowhere to go then. So I was looking at rentals, even to get a really unpleasant two bed terrace would cost us about two grand a month in, you know within down here for the girls to walk to school so oh, I was having a bit of a panic uh the upshot is and I mean we're not out of the woods I saw another flat that meets meets our needs perfectly to be honest it, it all of the reservations I had about the other flat and even the one I put the offer in on it meet it wipes all of those out of the water so and I put in an offer and I said to this agent I'm not even bothering to see this unless they're willing to consider and this is before I've even seen it my offer of 400 because I can't do more than that it's 50k more than the other one 
so I was, I think I was so stressed out and angry about everything and the way people were ignoring me, like sisters ignoring, state agents fobbing me off. I just, and the stress. And that I was so adamant and strident about it. You know, like, it's that or nothing. You know, tell them, you better make sure. And they don't want to lose the sale, obviously, of our house. So they're trying, doing everything they can to get another sale. Um, and got my offer accepted. 25k below asking. I mean, it's still quite high. It's a, it's a flat, 400k. But it's three bedroom, which is something I had to listen to the girls. They were very much, when they realised that prices have dropped since we started looking and it's possible to get a three bed now, they were like, we want our own rooms, blah, 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 um, which is fair enough. So now at the stage, just hoping, hoping, hoping that I can get this through. So, yeah, so that's the house stress update, um, <laughs> which I took out on a dell on Friday night, went camping with friends and got absolutely ratted. And Adele came on on the playlist and whose phone was connected to the speaker had gone to the loo and I went mental about it apparently. Boring! Like, I just... And um, I said, the next day I said, I've seen Adele, Glastonbury, she's lovely. I like Adele. I didn't... It just like, it made no sense. I said, I think that might have been the culmination of a stressful week coming out and I took out on Adele. I don't, I, yeah. Anyway, I felt much better the next day, apart from the hangover. <laughs> um, yeah, went and did some sourcing. Went to Matt, uh, Matt. Uh, Chris and Catherine came and picked me up, and we went sourcing and dropped me back after. So that's lush. While well, others went to the pub, we did a walk in a pub, and um, yeah, love, that was lovely. That was a lovely weekend. I needed that. Feel much better for that. Although, obviously, back home now and feel. anxious I, I really want this one to go through really 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 do it meets our needs oh god I, I just don't want it I, I think we're a bit fluffed if this doesn't go through because our buyers well we've signed a contract now for our buyers on this house um and they're eager to get in obviously yeah right so this is a quick update so the other thing is I haven't been on here. Uh, I suddenly I was like, you know, a couple of videos a week, and and then I kind of disappeared for over a week. Partly stress, partly, and I know apologies to mum particular. I think <laughs> you're not going to like this smell. Sorry about this. Um, it's because I've been doing lives on posh and Poshmark, and I've realised it's kind of a strange thing, but it's it's it must be satisfying my need to chat to strangers on the internet <laughs> even though I don't off I don't do a full offload like I do on here you lot can take it but I don't think they can it's not really that it's meant to be for, it's meant to be a selling site not me offloading my my woes um but there is something about getting the kind of communication not with I, I can't put it into words but it's it's not, there's no stress involved or no, I don't know, but it's satisfying something that I need to do when I'm communicating like this or having a, just a, a joke about or whatever, really, I suppose. Maybe it's, it's a social, yes, yeah, a, a social aspect, I guess. Yes, yeah, it's but it's easy social. It's not, you know, I don't have to leave my house, <laughs> which helps. Um, I don't have to leave my bedroom. Uh so, yes, yeah, so apologies, but that's, I think, yeah, if you're not on Poshmark yet and you do want to come and see me waffling on on there on a live show. Oh, I think I'm lagging. Um, I'm Shel Starini on there as well. And obviously, if you if you haven't joined, you want Fiverr credit to spend. When you join, use the promo code Shel Starini and you get Fiverr. And then when you spend it, I'll get Fiverr too. Um, 
so yeah so future i don't know i don't know what's going to happen on here if i'm having my strange chit chat social internet needs met over there hmm yeah and if you've been on there already and you've watched the lives let me know what you think about it and let me know yeah let me know everything really we haven't had a catch up in a long time and i really enjoy your comments and i often get something really interesting in the comments that really makes me think which i, I like i like to overthink keeps me keeps me ticking over i haven't even got my earrings in took them off in the tent last night i don't even know where they are uh yeah so and a busy couple of weeks as well i've got rewind festival next weekend got reading the following weekend um so oh word alive i tell you what though if i get any decent house news update then i will update you on i will come on and let everybody know and um you might be going don't care anyway shall you <laughs> but i will anyway and also if oh gosh can you imagine if we actually get it through when we move in i will do a little tour um it's the sort of thing i love to have a little nosy um yeah i think i'll leave it at that have a good evening. Bye-bye, don't die.